my YouTube friends, I got a great response to my other videos about capturing your phone screen. I also had a lot of people complain that there was a lot of lag when using it, especially with Android phones. Today I want to tell you about another option for adding your phone to your OBS live stream or just recording it. So let's get to it! My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and leave me a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. This goes a long way towards helping YouTube to push this video to a wider audience. And my analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. If you're one of those 80%, please consider subscribing. It really does help me to continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. This software works for Android or iOS iPhone and it can be used on Windows or Mac OS. It will also capture video and audio for any phone, even your Android phone, without having to root it. So that's awesome. It just works. The software is called Duon and when they contacted me to sponsor this video, I was really excited to see what it could do. I know you guys are looking for this kind of solution. Let me show you how to install it and oh, there is a link in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. The install on this is really straightforward. There's a link in the description so you can go and get to this page. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your operating system. You can see this works on Windows or Mac. You just select the download you want. And when it's finished downloading, all you have to do is double click on it. And then you just click next through the install. It is very simple. And once it's finished, it can just launch Duon right out of the box. It puts a little link on your desktop if you're on Windows or in applications on Mac. And there you go go. Duon is totally installed and ready to go. Now that's an easy install. Let's see all the cool stuff you can do with it. Let's go ahead and start out with the Android phone. You can see right here we're on the main menu and they have in the Duon software a little quick start that you can scan some of these QR codes and it should take us right to the page where we can download but unfortunately they don't seem to be working. So if we just go into the app store and we search for Duon we can find it right here and we just click on that and install it. I'm sure they'll get the QR codes working soon, but for now, this is all you have to do is go and search for the Duon software. And then once you're done, here it is, it comes up. You have at the top, you can select wired or wireless. So we're gonna select wireless and you can see Duon comes up right there. Let me just go ahead and click there and start now and boom, it comes up right away in our overlay. And then we can start Angry Birds, turn our screen to the side, and there we go. Now if we click this button here, that means it's transmitting to OBS. So once we click that, all we have to do is go into OBS, click the plus, click video capture device, and then we just drop down the device and we select a do one virtual camera, and there we go. Now if we scroll down here and we go to use custom audio device, there is a device in here called the virtual audio capturer, which does seem to add our audio for the game. Now there are other ways to capture this in case this doesn't work for you. We can stretch this up, make it big, put it however we want, you can see it works fantastically. The image looks absolutely incredible. And I will say that wireless does have some lag, but I'll show you a way around that a little bit coming up. So I don't know whether this virtual audio capture is something that was added by Duwan or whether it's some sort of plugin I have in. So I want to show you other ways to add audio just in case. I can click the plus, go to audio output capture, and then select where my audio is playing. So if I'm playing it through speakers, I can select that. If I'm playing it through headphones, I can select that. And there you go. You can see that comes in. Also, if you have the Win audio capture plugin, you can go and select that, click OK, and then drop it down and select the actual window for your Pixel or whatever Android phone you're using and that'll add your audio also. So there you have three different ways to add your audio for your phone. Now in order to connect the iPhone you just swipe down here then you select screen mirroring and then you just select the do one and boom your iPhone is connected. So now I can just go in start a game turn it sideways and we're all ready to go. And then if I go into OBS, I can add it in the exact same way. All I have to do is click the plus, go to video capture device, 
click OK, drop it down, select the Do One virtual camera, and it comes in here. Now you probably want to be casting it first. That's where I messed this up, and that's why the screen is misshapen. I can select Use Custom Audio Device in this case as well, and scroll down and select that virtual audio capture, and that captures the audio from the game. But we're not capturing the screen yet, so what I need to do is go back to the Do One app right here, and just click this little button right there, and now you can see that it is captured by OBS and because it's a little skewed I can just use the shift key and drag this up a little bit to make it the correct aspect ratio holding the shift allows you to skew it just a little bit now if I had casted it before I went in here and added it it would already be the correct size so just keep that in mind make sure you click that little cast button in do one before you go and add it to OBS the iPhone seems to be much more instantaneous over Wi-Fi than the Android phone did and here I'm just going to add the desktop audio and if you have the win audio plugin app I'm gonna add that as well just to show you that just like the Android phone there are three different ways to add your iPhone audio into OBS and they all work fantastic the sound is absolutely great now I'm going to show you how to do the plug we're gonna start with the Android phone and this will eliminate any sort of lag or latency that you have on your Android phone you just plug it in right here and make sure it's plugged into your computer and it connects automatically you just click start now if it does not connect automatically on the main menu you can just switch it from wireless to wired and then it will connect automatically and there you go you can see it automatically goes onto the screen this works fantastically well there is really absolutely no lag whatsoever from the screen on the phone to the screen that's on your computer it works really flawlessly I, I am so surprised at how there is no lag or anything like that once you plug this right into your computer so if you are looking for a lag free experience to stream your phone that is absolutely the right way to go as far as the iPhone goes it works pretty much the same way except for there are no extra steps you plug it in and boom it shows up on your screen and all you have to do is go ahead and browse to the game that you want to play it automatically switches the aspect ratio and there is no lag whatsoever it is really really incredible now you can add both your Android and your iPhone into OBS at the same time if you like the process is just a little bit different what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to my window capture and I'm just gonna type iPhone in here and click OK. Then I'm going to drop the window down and I'm gonna select my iPhone. It's already selected, so we're good to go there. I'm gonna click OK. Then I can just resize this up however I want it to be. Then I am going to go ahead and click the plus and go to Window Capture again. And this time I'm gonna call this one Android and click OK. I'll drop down the window and select my Android right here. Click OK. And then I just need to resize this window up, put it where I want. In some cases, you may need to crop out the UI. It really depends. But once you get these resized exactly how you want them now you're ready to go you can live stream with two different phones either Android or iPhone at the same time or if you have two iPhones or if you have two Androids that works just fine and what I'll do is I'm just gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to audio output capture I'm gonna drop this down and select however I'm listening to the games whether it's your speakers or your headphones I'll select that and now we are collecting the audio information from both of the games and they're lag free because they're both plugged directly into the computer. This works absolutely fantastic. Now the process is actually the same if you wanted to add cameras for your live stream. You go ahead and you plug in your phone. In this case I have both the iPhone and the Pixel 6 plugged in. You can see on the screen there we have both different camera apps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into OBS and I'm just going to do a window capture for each one. So I click the plus, I go to window capture, I'll call one iPhone and then I just need to drop this down and select the iPhone and click OK. I'm going to use the Alt key and go ahead and crop this up so I'm just getting the image that I want and then I'm going to stretch it up. Now you can see that the resolution doesn't look great. The best thing you can do is go into Do On and just make it full screen and that's going to greatly increase the resolution and the way this looks and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you probably want to do that before you do all your cropping too. 
But now we're gonna do a window capture and we're gonna capture our Android phone and we're gonna go ahead and use the Alt key to crop out the UI in this so we just have the segment that we want and we'll drag this over here. And you can see the differences between the two cameras. They actually look pretty similar. Now what I do is I go into do one and I click this full screen and then I can just Alt tab. And what I'm gonna have to do is just resize these windows after I full screen them both. But once I do that, you can see that the quality that we're gonna get on these is much better. So I'm just gonna go into transform. I'm gonna reset the transform form and I'm going to recrop these up once I do that and there you see the full screen quality on these is much much better that's actually usable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put this where I want it on this screen and then I'm going to go ahead and create another scene and we're going to add the Android camera into the second scene and now we have two different camera angles all you have to do is crop this up again and you hold down the alt key and that's how it turns green and then we're just going to crop the UI out and we'll make this however we want it to look we'll stretch it up here and center ourselves on the screen there we go now when we switch back and forth we have scenes with two different camera angles using our cell phone and it's really really easy to set these up and you can see that is a very clear image once I went and maximized it behind the scenes it looks fantastic now this doesn't capture the audio you're gonna want to plug a microphone into your computer so that you can capture the audio for these and you can get inexpensive external mics and you're going to get much higher audio quality the next thing I want to show you is the recording so I'm gonna go ahead and load up my game on the iPhone in the UI and then all I have to do is click this little record button up here in the top left hand corner and it's going to record everything that happens on the screen and all the audio and everything else in extremely high quality it is absolutely fantastic so then I can exit out of that and I can go in and find the video file and play it And you can see it needs to be rotated 90 degrees but the quality is absolutely incredible so if I just drag this into Premiere and go up here and rotate the image minus 90 degrees there we go you can see See how unbelievably beautiful this records and it will record camera or game footage or whatever you want so that you can do a voiceover on it later this is an incredible way to record anything on your phone now you can also crop this right in the window if I select the window right click it and go to crop then all I have to do is drag the edges on here and I can crop these up any way that I want then if I go over here and I select multi device you can see it's already cropped in multi device and you can see that you can add a heck of a lot of devices in here here you can see I have my iPhone in here and we're going to go ahead and add the Android phone so you can see what that looks like and there we go got it now we're playing Angry Birds and we just need to click on the actual window to select which one we want to show in the main screen here this means you could actually record both of these at the same time if you wanted to but the best part is with Android or iPhone depending upon your system with Android it's totally plug and plug Play. I can actually use my mouse and keyboard to select things on this Pixel 6 screen right here on the Android phone. On the iPhone, if your computer has Bluetooth connection, you can do the same thing. I don't happen to have Bluetooth, so I can't do it with my iPhone, but I could easily control the entire screen on the Android phone. Now, the last piece I really need to touch on for the Duon software is the fact that here is the pricing structure, and it does have a free piece, so the good thing that you you can do is go ahead and download it and see if it's gonna work for you and I think it probably will you're gonna get with this plugged in completely latency free use of your iPhone or your Android phone and it's really really easy to add it into OBS so you can live stream it or do whatever you want and the screen recording feature is incredible it's really pixel perfect to what you're actually seeing on your phone which is awesome the only drawback to this software really is you might want to test it out as a trial user but you're not going to use the free version for anything because it puts a massive watermark on your screen the beautiful thing is that if you wanted to just order the software it is really really inexpensive you can see you can get six months for seven bucks or a year for ten bucks if you try this out as a trial user you're gonna see that it works for you it solves all the problems that you have with any of the other screen mirroring software out there you get Android audio without having to root your your phone and it just works and for that the 10 bucks is totally worth it so definitely check this out and download it and see what you think and let me know in the comments you can also use all these features on Mac 
or Windows, which is really cool. You can use this app for free, but that's really just to try it out and see if it works for you. There is a watermark on the free version that's really gonna keep you from using it for just about anything. Now, the good news is that the pricing is super cheap to own the app, so try it out, and if it does what you want it to do without any problems, it's worth a couple of bucks to pick it up. Try it out for yourself, there is a link in the description. If you wanna see how to create epic animated face cams for your live streams, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to today's sponsor, Duwan. There are links to Duwan and my other sponsors in the sponsored section down below in the description so you can check them out. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here helps me continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't do this without them or you. So thanks.